Hey guys, it's Charlie with CompetitiveEdgeProducts.com. I'm going to show you the goal setter that I installed and purchased and tell you all about it from start to finish. This is what it looks like in my yard. I'm going to show you from start to finish, from installation to playing around on it. But um, I wanted something that had a good overhang, a good size backboard. This is 60 inches, overhangs three feet, and had a nice collegiate rim. On our website, you'll notice there's a drop down menu where you decide what type of backboard you want, whether you want it to be glass or acrylic. I prefer acrylic. And then you choose your rim option. Most people get the HD breakaway, but I wanted an upgrade from that. I wanted the collegiate. That would be the rim on the very left here. It is, uh, it's just awesome. I'm gonna show you why it's important to get a spring-loaded rim and it has double springs, so it's a bit more forgiving. Once you order it, in a few days, the freight company calls you to set up a delivery appointment. Somebody does have to be there to sign for it. You'll notice that there's a little lift gate elevator on the tail end of this. It, it flips out and becomes level with the bed. They roll the pallet onto this lift gate and then lower it off the truck for you. And then they, they rolled it into my garage for me. It's five boxes total, one of those being the anchor kit. This is the pull box that's on the bottom. I pulled the other boxes off. And these are the other boxes. On top is the rim, and then there's the uh, extension arms, and then the backboard on the bottom. Now the most intimidating part for, I think, everybody that installs an in-ground basketball system is just digging the hole and putting concrete in. The instruction manual makes it really, really nice, very simple. Let, let me show you the anchor kit. This, this hinge system is absolutely genius. Let me show you that too. So this is actually the anchor itself. And you can see on that, it's for a five inch um, in-ground hole. And when we pop that open, you can see that it's got the hinge pin right there, which I'll show you what that is in a moment. And then it has the instruction manual and it's got the five plastic plugs. They look like bolts, but they're actually just plastic plugs. So that's what the anchor looks like. And if you pop open these instructions, they make it so easy. It's, it, they, they give you more information than you probably even need, but it's done really, really well. Basically what you do is you dig a 50 inch hole and you put this anchor in and the anchor is tapered so you can, so if you put some concrete in the hole, you can push this through and um, it recommends that you mix it if you're not having it you know done professionally you mix it in a wheelbarrow and then uh, mix it around with a hoe and pour it into the the hole um, which you'll have to do in stages so you can see the arrow on the sticker points towards the playing surface and it's about six inches away from that hinge pin and uh, now it's time to get it assembled and assembly is so amazing i've assembled many basketball systems this was by far, by far the easiest of any high-end basketball system. And let me show you why. It has this hinge, this installation uh, clip that makes it so easy. So you don't need six people to help assemble this like you do on some, some other brands. But you basically put in the hinge pin and then you put the installation clip and it hangs at an angle while you do the rest of the installation. So here's what it looks like in real life in, in my yard. And uh, so basically you have the pole sticking out and you have that hinge, that clip that's holding it in place. And when you're ready to hoist it up, the clip just falls right off. So while it's suspended there at an angle, you actually put on these extension arms, which is very quick. There's only a few bolts and you put the lock nut into the adjustment mechanism. One of the nice things is that the adjustment mechanism is already pre-assembled inside of the pole. And all I had to do was, you see that hole that's kind of on the bottom right hand side. I had to make sure that that pin, that the whole adjustment mechanism, it can turn inside the pole and I had to turn it towards the back because, because that's the connection pin that attaches the crank that raises it up and down. So there's another hole on the back side of that pole. And the instructions tell you this, it's done very, very well. So we add the extension arms as it's kind of suspended. And the next thing you do is add, um, attach the backboard. Attaching the backboard, I was a bit worried about that. I didn't want it to scratch. I didn't know if it was gonna be resting on cardboard. I did have cardboard underneath it just to be safe, but it was actually, the whole thing was just lifted up. Nothing even had to touch the cardboard. So uh, my wife and I 
both held an end of the backboard while my son put the bolts in and even before he tightens them um, it's already in place so this is without us doing any type of adjustment and then there's that blue um, plastic that you peel off but that's protecting the backboard as well so the next step before you actually put the rim on you raise this up now it's already has that hinge pin in the front so basically you're just pushing it and it is low it's very low it's like it's lower than the bottom of that um, backboard is lower than six feet so you don't even have to we didn't have to have a ladder or anything we just pushed it backwards and then once you put it backwards that clip falls right off and you can see there's an arm behind the pole with um a ratchet and you tighten the three now these aren't the plastic plugs we're talking about it comes with actual bolts and you put the three in the back and then the two in the front next i know it looks like there's a lot of hardware but it's just four bolts with washers and nuts on the end so it was pretty easy there's already factory installed bushings so you don't have to drill anything into the backboard that's going to compromise the glass so you just put those in and this is what those bolts look like once they're in and you'll notice that the, the holes are slotted so it's a little bit forgiving if you want to put a level to it you can and make it perfect so you tighten those bolts i just held the rim up took a picture while my son was tightening the bolts and then you put the cover plate on and that just uses four screws and um, so while my son was doing that, I was putting this net on and the net is really, really nice. They did not cheap out on the net. All right, it's all up. So it's time to pull the plastic off and that glossy, beautiful, shiny backboard just looks amazing. So before you get too excited to start shooting a basketball, take just a moment and put these height stickers up. They're a lot of fun. If your kids are going to be dunking, they're always going to be guessing, well, what's that on? I can't dunk at seven and a half. I can dunk at eight. I can dunk at eight and a half and so forth. And it only takes a few minutes. And if you don't do it, you might join the other customers who misplaced their stickers and want to do it later and have to call in and wait for those to be mailed to them. If you lower the basketball system all the way, it will be a few inches below six feet. So you'll have to measure six feet, raise it up so you reach six feet, and then you actually take the decal and put it inside this hole here. Just put it in there, and then we're gonna do the same thing. Measure it six and a half, seven, seven and a half, up to 10 feet. So there's a finished product. I cannot believe that it took us less than an hour to do that, minus, of course, the anchor and the concrete. But usually assembly on these high-end systems is like three to four hours, and this was less than one hour. We surprised our kids before they got home from school. And make sure you get a good basketball. Outdoor basketballs are the best. You can use indoor basketballs if you want to, but they're gonna get, they're gonna get, uh, I don't wanna say ruined, because I actually like using indoor basketballs to play outside. I like the feel that they have, and they're usually a bit lighter weight, um, because the outdoor ones are designed to be more rigid, um, you know, against the concrete or the asphalt. And it takes about 30 seconds to raise all the way up. Here's a full 180 pounds hanging on the rim. You're not supposed to hang on it. I just did that for demonstration purposes, but you can see it's pretty solid. And then this is why I got this rim. I like a forgiving rim. You see how I tried to miss that and it did not just brick wildly. Let me show you again. <laughs> so a forgiving rim will, will, will uh, you'll be chasing the ball a little bit less, but also when you're making free throws and, or shooting free throws and you miss one, it gives it that extra bounce. It's considered to be a bit more forgiving, just like you'd see in, in high school, college, and the NBA. They're spring-loaded um, so that they are, are more forgiving like that. All right, one last example. And there's the finished product. 60-inch backboard, collegiate rim, internal adjustment mechanism. I was very, very happy with that. And take a look at the side view with this awesome overhang it's three feet and that's from the front of the pole to the back of the backboard so that doesn't even include the rim which is 18 inches in diameter but it lets you play underneath the the hoop um with still having playing surface and not you know being too concerned about running into the pole and it has the 60 inch backboard and it adjusts from six feet to ten feet We've had it for a few weeks at the time I made this video and my kids have had so much fun on this. The older kids are dunking nonstop and the littler kids are still learning and need a little bit of help. 
but we expect that this will last a good 10 years or so and the youngest ones can enjoy it all the way through high school. And even at the lowest height, our kindergartner can make a few baskets. Nice work. We have a lot of different basketball systems to choose from. This was the one that I wanted to go with. It's not 72 inch, which is the biggest, but it's not also, you know, 48 inches. It's a good 60 inch board and uh, very happy with it, very pleased with it. So that's the end of the video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please hit the thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. And if you have any questions, comment below. Thanks for watching.